In this video, I'm going to show you how to control relays. And what we're going to do here is use base station software. This graphical user interface will give you a good idea of the things that you need to do to control relays. Now I'm going to break this into a few sections because this can take a while. But the first thing I want you to do is click on ProXR Enhanced Relay Control Command Set to open this window. Next, I want you to click the More button. The More button is going to show detailed information about this control panel. For right now, we're going to focus in on this section of the control panel. This is where we control relays, and this is where we read the status of relays. Uh, here is where we can choose the relay bank. If you have a, a controller with more than one relay bank, then you can choose the bank that you're working with. This particular controller only has four relays, which means it has one relay bank. And uh, relay banks are divided into groups of eight. And so this controller only has the first four available relays uh, for control. So to turn relays on and off, uh, you can just simply click the buttons. Uh, and each one is going to show the command. Uh, <clears throat> the command for controlling relays is 254-1081. This is for activating relay 1 uh, and then it's 254 101 to deactivate the relay the extra bytes are part of the API encoding API makes it possible for you to send commands in a very very fast way uh, by telling it uh, a header byte a the number of bytes you intend to send the command and then the checksum which is a total of all of these bytes together truncated to 8 bits. So we'll get into that a little bit later on in a future video, but for right now I just wanted to introduce you to the commands of activating relays. To turn on relay 1, uh, we're going to send a 254-1081. Uh, 254-1091 turns on relay 2, 254-1101 turns on relay 3, and 254-1111 turns on relay 4. Similarly, you can turn the relays off 254 101, 254 101, 1, and 254 102 1, and 254 103 1. This command lets you send a byte of data directly to the relay bank, and this will set the status of all eight relays simultaneously. This is a binary pattern, so we can do 1, 2, 4, 8. Uh, or any value for this controller from 0 to 15. Uh, 15 turning on all the relays. Reading relays is very, very similar. Uh, the commands for reading a relay is just simply 254.116.1 and then it'll, the controller will respond with a 1 or a 0. If the relay is off and we were to read the status, uh, it would send 254.116.1 would send a 0 as the part of the status byte. Again, this is API encoded. 170 is your header byte. This is the number of bytes you need to expect to receive from the controller. This is the actual data byte. And this is the sum of all the bytes in the packet truncated to 8 bits. So to, to read the first relay, uh, it's 254.116.1, 254.117.1, 254.118.1, and 254.119.1. Similarly, you can read all the relays uh, simultaneously by sending 254.124.1, and then the controller will report back, in this case of 14, indicating the second, third, and fourth relays are on. So uh, this just is general overview of turning relays on and off. We also have some shortcut commands to turn all the relays off, uh, to turn all the relays on, uh, to invert the status of the relays, and to reverse the status of the relays. So if you reverse them, it, you can see that 1 and 8 are, are flipped every time I hit the reverse. Uh, I will get into other sections of ProXR in other videos, uh, and this particular section is just to kind of give you an overview of basic relay control functions. Uh, there, in this, uh, the documentation that goes with this section of video, you'll see a shortcut of all the commands that were described here, along with the response codes that you should expect from the controller.